Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Really excited today. This is episode 14 of my travel trailer build. If you're new to the channel, I have built a trailer from scratch. Eddie, as I affectionately call my trailer, is a 12 by 7 foot uh, travel trailer that I'm building right now. He is just a shell. There's nothing in the inside. It's just insulated. And I'm currently taking him to the weigh station to see exactly how much it weighs at this point in the build. So before we get to the weigh station, I'll give you a quick little review on the build process and the material that I used for it. So the metal framing, um, I didn't skimp, I wanted it to be very heavy duty and I wasn't too concerned about trying to save weight at the base the metal frame. So you can see here, I used uh, two by three tubing for the bottom and that's where the um, leaf springs were connected to the trailer. On top of that, two by three square tubing, a frame of two by two square tubing was used to kind of make the platform of the trailer. And the tongue is a three by three square tubing um, connected to the hitch. I used three quarter inch plywood on top, coated with aluminum at the bottom, and then started the build process with framing. Um, I used mainly two by twos, but some two by fours in the corners and in areas where um, there was going to be some walls and other um, support was needed. So that's why the two by fours are there. The roof is mainly two by four framing with uh, I believe three eighths plywood on top with the rubber roof membrane. So uh, obviously as I continue to build Eddie and finish him as a travel trailer on the inside, the weight is going to increase. He's on a 3,500 pound axle right now. And I realize that as it continues to get heavier, I might have to swap that out. So um, I'm guessing maybe in the summertime or the fall, if the weight increases uh, dramatically, I'll swap out an axle. And I might even just jump to like a 6,000 pound axle and not have to worry about it anymore, which I probably should have done in the first place. But when I was researching this, you know, every travel trailer that I saw, a single axle was, you know, they were all on 3,500 pound axles. Um, obviously that I overbuilt my metal frame that this sits on, but I'm glad I did because I really feel that it's solid to the ground and I'd rather have all the weight at the bottom at the base and have it overbuilt. Um, I feel better about it. And it, you know, I just, I know that I don't have to worry about it being Kind of shaky and wobbly it's it's pretty it's rock solid so i'm really happy with that when i take it to the scale i will not have the scissor jacks on it so those are heavy we're going to be taking those off they won't be in my truck my truck will be empty i have the safety chains on it and that's really all uh, eddie's going to have with him for the the way in. Okay, we're coming up to the scale. We're going to be pulling up here. I've already come by and they said I could take the trailer on and, and weigh it, so um, hopefully it's not going to be a problem. Let's see how much it weighs. There we go. What do you have, sir? I have a trailer that I built myself. I literally am just coming here to weigh it. I, uh, I know how much my truck weighs and I was here last month. You guys said you wouldn't mind if I came by just to get a weight. Well, the weight's right there. It says 3,900. 3,900 kilograms? Yeah. All right. All right. So grand total of 3,900 kilograms. I brought my truck to the weigh station and the truck with me in it weighs about 2,900 kilograms. So that means Eddie comes in at 1,000 kilograms, which is about 2,200 pounds. So I'm happy with that, a little heavier than I expected, but really that's not too bad. Um, pretty much uh, right where I was thinking it would be. And I'm good with that. 
I can continue my build towing around safely and I got to be honest with you I'm really excited to actually use it on a trip even though it's just a shell inside um, I think I may take Eddie on a few trips uh, some winter camping especially if I get the wood stove installed soon I may not be able to wait any longer and uh, I think I might want to take him on a nice winter camping trip So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'd love to hear your comments, what you thought it was going to weigh, and anything else you got. As always, I like hearing your comments, and I like reading them. I like the feedback. And I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I have a lot of episodes coming. Um, it's been a fun adventure. I'm trying to share this build with everyone and kind of inspire you and maybe uh, you know, do something similar to yourself, right? So... Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next episode. Cheers.